the Paris Agreement on Climate Change gave us rare hope. For my country, the Marshall Islands, and many others, it was a promise of survival we fought hard for. My country is made up of over a thousand islands, only a few feet above sea level. Warming could raise the Pacific Ocean far above that. Today, our people live in fear that king tides could flood our homes, claiming lives even as we sleep. But we don't stand alone. People everywhere have awoken to climate perils. Everyone's way of life is under threat. Fortunately, fighting climate change is an opportunity. Renewable energy gives us access to nature's enormous wealth, jobs, health, and prosperity. Despite growing momentum, not enough is being done to keep us safe. If warming goes above 1.5 degrees Celsius, our fate is sealed. But it's not too late if every nation steps up and does more by 2020. The Marshall Islands feels the great weight of responsibility to assume the leadership of the Climate Vulnerable Forum at this crucial time. Our coalition of 48 most vulnerable nations call for a leaders' summit that I'm honored to host this 22nd of November. The summit will be entirely online, making use of solutions at hand for a carbon-free global gathering. It embraces the spirit of inclusivity, or Talanoa. We are all connected. On that day, the world will hear our stories of what's at stake and shine a light on actions we take to survive and thrive. It's a call to ambition to leaders the world over. If we can act, so can any nation. I look forward to strong engagement of climate vulnerable countries to champion this. I invite any leader prepared to do more by 2020 to show solidarity and join our summit. I have faith that together we succeed. Everyone can contribute. Join us.